This video will show you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded into the printer. Sometimes, the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Remove the power cord from the back of the printer. Wait 60 seconds. Then, plug the power cord back into the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Check the paper path for obstructions by looking into the input tray. We recommend using a flashlight to make sure you see any smaller pieces. Try printing a self-test page. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to be fed into the printer. Remove any wrinkled or damaged paper from the stack. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets of paper in the stack. The printer may hold more sheets of paper, but this number of pages is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type. Then, tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load the paper and adjust the guides so they're snug against the stack. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Remove the paper from the input tray. Open the control panel. To do this, click the Start button or the Windows icon. Click Control Panel. Click Printers, and then right-click the appropriate printer. Click Printing Preferences, and choose the Features tab. Then click Printer Services. On the Printer Services tab, click Paper Feed Cleaning. Follow the on-screen instructions on the Paper Feed Cleaning dialog box to complete the process. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, Continue on to the next step. Sometimes, cleaning the rollers a second time will allow the rollers to start picking paper. Run the cleaning routine from the computer once more to ensure that the roller is clean. After running the second cleaning attempt, attempt to print a self-test page again. If the printer does not pick up paper this time, then the printer likely needs some type of service. If the self-test page does print, move on to the next step. At this point, we know that the rollers that pick up paper are working correctly, so attempt to print your original job on the paper that you were originally using. If your original job prints correctly on your original paper, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If it still does not pick up the paper, continue on to the next step. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for at least one of your paper On your computer, Open a document in the program you're printing from. Click File, click Print, click Properties. When the Properties dialog box opens, click the Features tab. Find the Paper Type drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type.
find the Size drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK. Click OK again to print the document. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.